better than um, 5'8". Baby, I need my test results today in order for me to go to St. Thomas tomorrow. Like, I am so pissed off. But you know what? You know what? What's up, everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Taisha, and if you are new here, please go ahead and subscribe so you can officially become a Taisha babe. Right now, I'm looking horrible, duh. And right now, this is the beginning of a vlog, duh. This is gonna be like a weekly vlog. Well, not weekly. Yeah, whatever. This is gonna be a vlog. This is gonna be a vlog. But anyway, y'all. So Friday, I will be going to St. Thomas uh, for Mother's Day weekend. With my sister and some other family members. My sister and some other family members. So, y'all know when y'all travel to Ireland, y'all got to take the COVID test. So, y'all, today, what time is it? It's 9.24. In a minute. No, at 1. I will be going to CVS taking my first COVID test. Like, Yeah, I've been dreading sticking this thing up my nose since the beginning of the pandemic. Like, I just really been dreading this thing. But at this point, I have no other choice but to get the test, and I do plan on getting vaccinated. I know that it's a big controversy. Uh, it's experimental, don't do it, yada, 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 yada. But honestly, I really, truly feel, I really, blah, blah, blah. I truly feel like they're going to make the vaccination mandatory to travel. So, my hand hurt, y'all, because my son lost my lost my tripod. Oh, I can't find it right now. So, anyway, y'all, I'm just dreading going to get this COVID testing done. But I got to get it. And while I'm getting it, I'm going to be trying to, uh, I'm going to ask them about getting vaccinated because I'm going to Jamaica in August. And you feel me? Like, I don't want this thing keep being stuck up my nose. So, I just want to go ahead and get vaccinated and get out of the way. Because, honestly, I really believe they're going to make this thing mandatory where you're going to have to be vaccinated in order to travel. And, honey, I got a lot of more vacations to go. So, anyway, y'all, I'll pick you guys up once I get to CVS to get my nose. Yeah, I'll pick y'all up. I'll pick y'all up. I'll pick y'all up then. Please do not forget to subscribe. And I see y'all still loving that New Orleans vlog. Y'all need to go watch the Tampa vlog because that's lit too. My apologies for Tampa. I did not record that much footage with my camera because honestly, the, 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 the Tito's and Bumble took over my whole weekend. Like, I couldn't even focus. I dropped my camera. I cracked the screen. So I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to vlog on my phone. And I. I didn't even really vlog my phone. All of the the, the the clips in my last vlog are really from Snapchat Snapchat and Instagram. So I know y'all was like, this girl ain't even vlog. But this time when I go to St. Thomas, yeah, we're going to have fun too. But I will try to vlog a little bit more and better. It's just that when I get with them girls, I just get crazy. See, this with my family. I'm going to be crazy too. But I'm going to be more like reserved with my family. But my friends... Wait till we go to Houston. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to vlog that, but yeah. So this trip, the next trip that, I'll be, that I'm going on Friday, it may be a little bit better, y'all. Might be. So anyway, I'll pick y'all up when I get to CVS. Bye. Y'all. 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 I'm so damn nervous. My heart beating and everything. Like, I don't want this shit stuck up my nose, but it's like, at this point, what can I do? So I am now at CVS about to do my first ever COVID. If I ain't want to get flued out, I would never did this. Ever. Take the top off now? Yeah, take the name and the budget. 
Yes. Come back. I'm nervous. I can't even open the swap. Okay. So just put it in that. Hold it. You gonna count for me? Yeah. Ooh. And next one. I'm supposed to cry. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Break it. Put it. Put it in there like that. Now break it. It ain't twisting. Oh, I got it. In here? Y'all, I just picked up this camera right before I get ready to take a shower to tell y'all. So, you guys know I went and took the COVID test today or whatever. First time taking COVID test. It wasn't that bad. Um, so my friend called me and she was like, what I'm doing, what I'm, I'm sorry. She texted me. She was like, what you doing? So I was like, looking for bathing suits or whatever. I was like, looking for bathing suits or whatever. And she was like, but you got a lot of bathing suits. Cause remember you ordered the bathing suits for Tampa, but I didn't wear all the bathing suits. So I'm like, yeah, but I can't wear those type of bathing suits. Cause this is a family trip. You feel me? I don't want to show up like cousin Faith. So my friend was like, who is cousin Faith? You don't know who Cousin Faith is? Cousin Faith fuck family from Soul Food. That's who Cousin Faith is. I can't show up around my family with Cousin Faith clothes. Therefore, I had to order me some new bathing suits that's, you know, toned down or something. When I'm with my friends, do y'all do that? Let me know if y'all do that in the comments. When I'm with my friends, anything goes or whatever. But when I'm with my family, then my sister and her husband, even though they're not going to be looking at me or nothing like that, it's just about being respectful. You feel me? But yeah, I would never show up at... If I know it's guys that like my friend guys or my family guys or husbands or whatever, I would never show up like Cousin Faith. Because I ain't Cousin Faith or Ebony. I'm neither one of those. I respect people, relationships, and people goddamn husbands. It don't matter if it's my brother-in-law, cousin-in-law. I'm going to respect it. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to cover up. Because guess what? I ain't going with no man. I ain't getting tossed up. I ain't getting bit, bit over the balcony. I wish. But I'm not. I'm not doing none of that. Therefore, I need to put on me some clothes. A bathing suit. A nice, cute bathing suit. Without being extra. Because, like, I ain't got nobody going on me. I ain't got no man going on me. I wish. But I don't. But, yeah. What's up, y'all? It is Cinco de Mayo. Cheers. Pass the guacamole and the tequila. Y'all. I keep looking up here. So y'all. Today May 5th. I'm supposed to be going to St. Thomas on the 7th. May 7th in two days. I just checked for my cola results.
You have no... I hope you can see that. So, y'all. What I'm gonna do? My sister called me yesterday and she was like, Hey, try to do your COVID. Try to submit your COVID test to St. Thomas. Because they take it 24 hours to do it. And I'm like, sis. I didn't even get it back yet. Fingers crossed. I'm praying. I get my COVID test today results today i'm praying that i'm negative because if i'm not negative i mean i lost my excursion money i lost the plane ticket money i'm losing a lot of money if i'm damn covid 19 positive okay i'm not positive i haven't been no i did go to tampa but i don't know y'all i don't know honestly <laughs> honestly i don't know but i'm negative i don't Whatever. I don't want to get too. I don't want to get too deep in it or whatever. But um, today, I want to do something. I'm actually working right now. But later on the day, I'm gonna go to Dollar Tree and get me some little toiletry things. I gotta go get me some little lotion. Cause I know I'm gonna be negative. I know I'm gonna be negative. I'm not gonna be positive. I'm gonna be negative. Okay. We going to St. Thomas. My Tasha babes. We going. We going. But yeah, y'all, I just can't tell y'all, like, I'm shitting bricks right now, just waiting for my damn results. I'm also watching I Am Chelsea Vlogs. She is, La Mama inspires me to do so much on YouTube. She, listen, she one of my favorite right now. She one of my favorite YouTubers. My favorite is Peyton, Peyton Charles, Gina Janine, and Chelsea. Those are the people vlogs I watch on a daily basis. Whenever they vlog, I'm right there. Hey y'all, I know I look bad, but I just got home from Dee Dee's, Dollar Tree, and the laundromat. Um, I didn't vlog when I got in Dee Dee's because actually it was about to close and I was rushing. But let me show you guys what I got from Dee Dee's. I mean, Dee Dee's and Dollar Tree. You know we can't. Hit travel size items to fit in my suitcase because of course you know we can't take all of that i got me a nail file because y'all know i gotta be doing my nails over there and they might pop off you never know he might be having no. quiet so i wear these i think i'm wear these to st thomas you know a little funky and i might i mean i'm gonna wear these so um i might like these a little bit better i don't know but I think tomorrow and tomorrow I'm going to go actually get two more packs of these. Just in case, you know, something happened at St. Thomas. I need to change my nails. So I'm going to have four packs of these. And I don't know why I didn't get two while I was there. Y'all, I'm so freaking pissed off right now. Like, hello, y'all. Today is, what is today? I'm so mad right now. Today is May 6th. And I have yet, yet, you hear me, yet to hear anything from CVS stating that my COVID test results came in or what I ain't hear nothing from nobody, nothing. I keep checking my chart. I keep texting them. I keep texting them on um, minute clinic, whatever. And nothing yet. Like, hello, I have to submit the, the my COVID test results today in order to get on a plane tomorrow. Like, I'm beyond pissed off so i just emailed i just text cvs they were like your results um your test results is not yet available i called them it's pending i text my um i text who? i text my chart what I just text my chart and it said and they telling me CVS chat I'm sorry I'm sorry and it's telling me um normal turnaround is one to two days well guess what I took the test on Monday so they just literally text me keep an eye on my chart your results will show that you they just text me I'm so mad I can't even read right now they just text me I should receive my results no later than um, 5-8 Baby, I need my test results today in order for me to go to St. Thomas tomorrow. 
like I am so pissed off but you know what you know what I'm just gonna breathe I'm gonna put it I'm gonna give it to God and let God work it out because God works everything for my favor he never lets me down God never fails me but I'm so freaking mad like y'all people that's doing a COVID test or these rules that y'all got y'all say we need these COVID tests COVID testing results in order to travel cool you go get the COVID test in the time that they tell you to go get it you know within that five day window and you need your test results back a few days before your departure and guess what it's not even a guarantee that your test results gonna be back so like what y'all gonna do about this somebody gotta do something about it. like this is crazy yo they just text me my results may be back on the 8th I'm supposed to leave tomorrow so I'm losing my excursion money I'm losing my plane ticket money because I did not get insurance on my plane tickets. I'm like, for what? I'm going. Well, what I need insurance for? I'm going. What the fuck would I need insurance for if I am going? I don't know whoever over this shit, this travel thing, like, it's good that they want people to be tested. Good. Right. Nobody want to be flying with nobody that's um, COVID, co coronavirus positive. Right. But y'all got to make a better way. Y'all say we can't submit, the test got to be within five days of your departure. I took the test Monday, then response to the test Monday. So I'm thinking at least by some, yesterday, you know, Wednesday, you know, shit would have been good. Shit ain't good. Shit ain't good. So I, I so basically, I'm just losing what my ticket was like. $400, my cruise was $100, my excursion, my, the resort was $125. So all this money I'm losing because of y'all. Not because of me. But because y'all, you whores that work at Miracle Lab, Minute Lab, or whatever. Let me just go, because I'm so mad right now. I'll pick y'all back up later when I do my hair. I'm still going to do my hair and everything. Like, this shit is crazy. Don't know what to do. Y'all, so how about it is six o'clock and I have not got my results back yet. So I had to come to the Hot Rock to try to do testing again. Like CVS, count your motherfucking days, bitch. Count your goddamn days. I took that test Monday and my results not bad yet. And then my sister just my sister called me was like, girl, you know you can take the rapid. I'm like, huh? This is my favorite shoe, cheap shoe store, y'all. I got me.
my feet is hanging over. Look. No, no, no. It's gonna open up. Push, push in, push in. Oh, you're right. Yeah, I'm telling you, baby. Oh my God, you're right. They want two sides up. They oh. That's a beautiful summer color. But I wanted the, the new kind. Let me see what size is the Oh, you're right. They I'm are, you. and they are cute. And we've had people bringing them back because they open. Y'all, so let me tell you about this BS. So, um, as y'all saw, I had to go to, um, I had to go to the Hot Rock or whatever to get my COVID test because CVS played. The minute cleaning, you whores play with me. Like, but guess what? I'm negative. So I'm about to upload my negative results to. I'm about to upload my negative results to the Virgin Islands. Y'all, yeah, so it's about. Actually, I don't even know when I fell asleep. So it's about um, 3 13 in the morning. It's 3 16 in the morning. And right now. And I started doing my hair. I was going to vlog it. You know, like a little quick vlog. But my son was getting on my goddamn nerves. But anyway, y'all. So, um, I'm just crocheting my hair per usual. You all know how crochet go. Um, it's 3.6. I already told y'all that. So, I should be finished in an hour. I'm going to take me a shower in the morning. Before I catch my flight, I got to go get me a duffel bag from Ross because I didn't get a chance to do that yesterday. And, um, give me a duffel bag from Ross. I'm going to do my mink lashes. And I probably won't vlog that because I need to be leaving my house about 10, no later than 10.30. Because the plane start boarding at 12.15 and I'm going to Miami International. And if you know flew out of Miami, I know it flew, but I heard always heard horrible things. So, um, I gotta be there really early. So anyway, I'm gonna just finish crocheting my hair. Y'all can watch, you can watch, you can speed it up. And my St. Thomas vlog would be a different vlog from this vlog. This is just a get ready with me. COVID, ooh. COVID crazy shit. COVID craziness before my trip about my COVID test. So I did, I did get approved to go to St. Thomas with the rapid test. I went to the Hara, as y'all saw, and um, I did the rapid test. I submitted it to the Virgin Islands, and they approved it within 10 minutes. So everything is green light. I'm so ready to go. So it's about to get fluid out. So y'all know that vlog coming. But this one will be out. This one going to be out probably. Oh, this one probably going to be out. I will try to do it today. Or maybe release it tomorrow. Schedule it for tomorrow. But I don't know if I'm going to have time to edit. it. Because I really got too much stuff to do right now. So yeah. It's going to take me like an hour to do my hair. That's it. Oh, she'll put a lot of braids. Child. Just look they crazy. These are the Gypsy Goddess Locks. I love them so much. Y'all know I'm going to Houston at the end of the month. I'm, I'm definitely not going to get my hair like this.